Hey guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So it looks like Nicki Minaj got some new music coming out allegedly this Friday uh, with an artist named Young Blue. The song is called Love in the Way, allegedly. And Nicki Minaj looks amazing in this art cover. If this is the real art cover, she looks phenomenal. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Young Blue, but I do know some of his music. And I'm excited to see Nicki Minaj get back in her R&B bag, okay? Because Young Blue, he makes like R&B music. And I don't think Nicki has done R&B in a while. Also, JT from the City Thoughts group went on Twitter Spaces and she revealed that there could be another collaboration with Nicki Minaj and the City Thoughts in the stash, okay? Here is what JT said about, you know, Nicki Minaj collaborating with the City Thoughts again. Me and Carisha want her own. And then it's a song that I want her own. Like, so I texted her last night and I'm like, Nicki, can you still sing? But I was just playing with her, like, you know, just like fucking with her. Cause she saw she did things. Mm -hmm. So she put the um thumbs down. And I laughed, and she like, oh, if you talk about what um I used to do, yeah, I can still do it or whatever. So it's just two different vibes. Like it's two actually two different songs that's got two different vibes, and I just know that she'll kill both of them. So let me know how you guys feel about Nicki Minaj possibly doing two other songs with the City Thoughts. Do I feel like they deserve it? Absolutely not. I definitely feel like they will switch up at any given moment. But then, you know, Nicki Minaj would have to deal with that. I just feel like, well, I think that Nicki should kind of keep the same energy with everybody. Like, for instance, like Lil Nas X. Like, you don't want to clap with Lil Nas X because he switched up. But but JT and Carisha were telling you, you need to sit the fuck down when Cardi B was allegedly winning, according to them, and how they were Team Cardi. So I do feel like they could possibly switch up on Nicki Minaj, but she would just have to deal with it when that time comes, because at the end of the day, there's literally no loyalty in the game, okay? We can see that the City Girls, they need a hit. So, of course, they're going to want to be attached to Nicki Minaj. But, you know, I'm definitely going to tune into the music. I like JT's verse. Uh, super Freaky Girl Queen Mix. So let me know if you guys are interested in hearing another collaboration from them. Now, moving on to 11 and 12 Faces, um, Cardi and Lil' Kim. It looks like they cooking up in the studio. Cardi B is finally coming to save Lil' Kim's career after Megan Thee Stallion couldn't do it, okay? You know, Megan left Lil' Kim for dead and Cardi B said, wait. I can help you, little Kim. Let's go to the studio. And they got the icon, the legend, Swiss Beats in the building. Okay? Swiss Beats, he produced Roman's Revenge by Nicki Minaj on Pink Friday. He has worked with Camel Face, you know, Clown Yay, DMX, The Rough Riders. So, you know, he does have a decent catalog. Um, and I think that it's a good idea for Lil' Kim to collaborate with Cardi B. I know what the title for their next single should be. New Face, okay? Because every time they pop out, they look unrecognizable. And then on the art cover, they should have all their different faces in a collage. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I think this is a great collaboration after Lil' Kim went on the mic and started singing. Money made me so horny. <laughs> that sing was so trash. <laughs> so, you know, I am happy that um, after the Plan F fiasco, Cardi B and Lil' Kim are coming together. Do you guys think that Cardi B could save Lil' Kim's career? Let me know in the comments. Moving on to Megan. A lot of fans are not happy with Megan because she went on Chelsea Clinton's docuseries called Gutsy. Okay? And, you know, she was getting a little bit personal. 
and talked about how she has to be a strong black woman, how people, you know, are so mean to her. And, you know, she's been having a tough time. And fans are saying that she is scared of the black media, that she usually only goes on the white publications because she knows that they won't really question her. Okay. Now, let me know how you guys feel about that. She did go on Carisha, please, but that's because Carisha is her friend. Now, I will say this. I do feel like Megan Thee Stallion feels like black people don't really F for her like that. And that's why she goes on Good Morning America. You know, she does the like E! News, Hollywood Life type of interviews. You know, Claire, Magazine. Because they're not going to accuse Megan of lying or question her case in regards to Tory Lanez and, you know, question her character. And I think she likes that. I don't think she likes that people don't believe her or people think she's fake. I don't think she likes that people feel like she's an opportunist, especially black people. And and she fell out with a lot of black people, especially in the industry. She fell out with Asian Doll, um, Kelsey, Tory Lanez, Nikki, Rihanna unfollowed her, Drake unfollowed her. So she just don't fuck with black people like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe in her clique, but when it comes to the industry, definitely not. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Moving on to Doja Cat. She's doing her symbolisms again. She is wearing the devil's horn while performing. It's her first performance in a while. Um, She performed at the Marc Jacobs Heaven event because she is one of the models for the campaign. Now, you know, my whole thing with Doja Cat, I don't mind her doing her symbolisms. I understand. But why always the devil's horn? Why can't you just put on some cheetah print? You know, I just feel like the devil horn is a little bit dark, you know, all the time. I feel like all of it is dark, but especially the devil's horn. OK, um, I think she should do some cheetah print. You know, maybe cover up her eye. I don't mind the Masonic checkerboard, but I just feel like performing with the devil's horn girl. You know, that was like, you know, a little bit dark. No shade. Moving on to lottery ticket. It looks like she got a co-sign from a major pop star, Gaga. OK, Lady Gaga was on TikTok, I believe, listening to Low Energy. And Lottery Ticket reacted to it, okay? And she looked very pleased. Now, let me know, do you guys feel like Lotto can get a Gaga collaboration? Do you feel like she can be fully mainstream pop like Doja Cat? Um, And do you feel like she's up next? You know, a lot of people on social media keep saying that Lottery Ticket is the princess of rap. I disagree. But a lot of people feel that way, unfortunately. Um, I feel like you have to have more than one hit to be the princess of anything. But I do feel like Lottery Ticket could get there, okay? Um, I definitely feel like she has the look. I wish she would just stop dressing like a Fashion Nova model, but she definitely has the look. And I do feel like she is somewhat talented, but I do think that she's a little bit boring. I think she got to step out of just talking about sex all the time in songs, I feel like she got to step out of that. But other than that, I do feel like she's talented. So let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.